Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. Hello there everyone and welcome back once again it is day 70 here on our third season and if today's episode is especially short do not worry nothing is wrong I simply do not think much interesting stuff is going to happen today I mean I'm happy to be proven wrong but we're only going to score us because range levels are all that matter but let's do it with some divine pots Guess we did buy some, so that'll give us 20. Did we only buy one? Damn. Guess I'll get some more. I bought loads of regular range pots though, but if we're not using those. Although we do use them for red, so we probably do want to keep them actually. Wait, do I even have money to spend? I just casually did that without even thinking about it. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Right, so we want some runes. I probably want my nature runes with me as well, because I was complaining I didn't have alks the other day. And then just a bunch of prayer pots, right? A little bit of food. I guess that's all my prayer pots. Don't have much crappy food. Do I really want to spend a great deal of money? I guess we don't use current ones in red, so... They're disposable. All right, straight to it. Yeah, I'm just going to be chilling at Scorious, so chances are there won't be that long of a video because, like, I'm not just going to put together another sped up music video style thing. You'll know what I mean. Things I do where I speed things up and put music on it. I'm not going to do that again because we've done that for Scorious, which means this is probably going to be a short one. I said that like three times, so it might not be a short one because we've only just started. Who knows? We actually have slightly better gear than when we were here the other day as well, because we didn't have the blessed coif and boots then. So our accuracy will be slightly improved from last time for whatever minimal benefit that is worth. And our prayer too, so maybe we'll save more prayer pots. I did bring a dueling ring, that was silly. Currently looking at rates of around 100 to 110k an hour. No downtime for banking so far though since it started tracking it, so... I would edge closer to 100k because we will be banking at least once because I only brought one divine range potion with me. But we should be doing another level in about 20 minutes. I guess I'll see you then. Lovely timing. Damn, four kills so far? Three of them have had rune drops. Like rune item drops. One had chaos runes. Recovering that cash stack slowly from our losses to the yeeted chin chompers. By the time we've got to 80 range, we probably get another hit points level as well, which isn't terrible. 77. Saying an hour and 20 minutes judging on current, so if we're assuming we're doing another day of ranged after today, that will be an extra hit points level too. Every little helps. But yeah, I'm thinking tomorrow will be the last day of range training, and then we will just try tombs again. Maybe we get it done. Maybe it's really close and I think we can do it, but I made a mistake. And we just try again. Maybe I say, actually, no, I do still want those defense levels. Let me feel more comfortable on my supplies and not have to tank as many resources. But yeah, one more day training after this and then it is back to the tombs to get on with our attempted completion of the series. I've actually just come up with a sick idea to make this slightly more exciting. Can't wait till I next go to the bank. Also, it's been fucking years since we've had a spine. What are you playing at, Scurry? Gonna be the last kill of the trip here. The Divine Potion's about to run out and I don't have a top up. We could also do with some more Amethyst Arrows and a top up on prayer points as well. On the uh, prayer potion team. So I'm just gonna nip to the G8. Get like 300, maybe 400. Oof. Hopefully they buy. Quick refresh of the prayer here. 
and then it is time to bust out the secret weapon. I was looking at my spec thinking, man, it sucks that I don't have anything to use this with, but bringing a DDS makes no sense because it would not trying to get attack levels or anything at the minute and we're not actively trying to get defense right this second. I'm not going to bring a blowpipe because I've got dragon darts and Zora scales that are both hella expensive, so there's no way that that is a good use of my resources. And then I thought of a third option that could be a good laugh here. So we are going to rock the DCB for a spec at the start of every kill and see if we can get a ruby vault to pop off on Scurrius. Because I can guarantee one thing for certain, nobody has ever had a ruby spec on Scurrius. We could set a world first here with a 100 hit on Scurrius. We could be the first person to ever hit 100 on Scurrius. I don't know if that's likely though, there's probably someone Darok bombing out there who's done it. But until someone tells me that they did, it could be us. All we have to do is hit one of these rubies on the first shot of a kill. Why am I kiting? What am I doing? <laughs> Chill out, James. My movement in any form of combat on this game is so hyperactive recently just because I've been playing dead man. So like whenever I'm fighting, I'm just moving around constantly all over the shop. Oh! That was not the right time to be stood still after talking about how much I was moving. Unfortunately, I took half my health of that kill for some reason. Not ideal. Just ate from the food before I left. Will DCB do the work for us? Ever lucky. Oh no, we don't have a spec. Okay, we'll still throw a one shot at the start of the kill. The thing is, like, 500 is around the rough cutoff of where you want to be using a ruby bolt, because, like, below that amount, it's not going to hit for 100, it'll hit for less, and it's just less worth it. There's our 79th range level. According to the tracker, we are two hours from the next one. That's not really ideal, considering I wanted to just spend one more day. Maybe a couple lucky spines could help. I mean, we don't need to be bang on 80, but it seems silly to do training and not get, like, all the way there. One of these is gonna hit, I'm telling you. Before the end of the day, we're getting a ruby speck on Scurrius. Oh no, he didn't get his rats off. That was so close. Thought we had it. Mm. When are we gonna hit one? It's fine, we've got 763 more chances at this, y'all. Damn, I've had like three prep art drops in a row. <laughs> Look at that. It's crazy. Never lucky. Hey, finally! Another spine. It's been a while. I think I might just cash it straight in. Yeah, fuck it, I may as well just stay around. Got a minute and a half on a potion, I don't want to waste it. Oh, I forgot the... Never lucky. 45 is not good enough, I want to see that 100. I reckon we'd still need like, two more spines to get our training done tomorrow. Otherwise we're probably going to have to do a bit extra. Okay, we'll do the spine now. Extra ranged XP there. I still think we'd need like, two more. I think I just said that, didn't I? Probably just repeating myself. So much for my videos being short when I repeat myself, they never are. Lucky Ruby. Oh, it happened! We got the 100 against the scurry! Let's go, we are the first people ever in the world to hit Scurrius for 100 with a Ruby Bolt spec. Probably not, probably someone's done it, but I am the first person to do it on camera and yell about it, guaranteed. So, there we go. Breaking records today in my boring range training video. It wasn't even a spec attack either, it was a regular ball. Extra points for that. Not like there's any more chance on a spec, but still extra points. Oh wait, I'm not even potted. I wasn't even potted, shit! <laughs> I didn't repot after coming back in from the spine. even hit that attack. Terrible. Alright, the spec is overrated. The regular ruby ball is where it's at.
I have no idea where this track comes from, but it's chill as fuck. Jeez, there's a lot of music in RuneScape, isn't there? Monkey Madness. Oh, you know what, actually, I've just thought of a good idea. If if we do tomorrow range training, and we're just like a little bit off still, like 40, 50k or something, rather than do another full day of range training, I might go try the theater of blood entry mode. You know what? Yeah, I'm feeling that. Yeah. What, what, do, you, what do you say, guys? Dolls, non-binary pals. Theater of blood. Sound good? Before we finish off tombs, does anyone care? Does anyone want to see that? I think we could do the entry mode. I don't think we could do... Well, I know we can't do normal because I can't solo Tob on any account. I don't think I have the skill level to. Even if I didn't know what I was doing in normals more. Which I don't. Can I have this kill please? But I reckon I can do entry mode. We've got good enough gear for it. We can just let the blowpipe carry us. Alright, we're gonna do a quick little stop at the Ferox Enclave for a top up and then we'll get back for the rest of the day. Just spend it down to the wire. The reason, by the way, that I'm saying I think Theater of Blood would be better than doing another full day of training is because if you do the quest with it, which I'm assuming we could probably get done in a single session, but maybe I'm being overly optimistic there, I don't actually know. But yeah, 50k experience lamp afterwards on a combat skill, same as for doing Beneath Curse Sands that we already claimed. Well, not Beneath Curse Sands, into the tombs. So yeah, we can put that lamp on range then to get us the rest of the way to 80 before going back to our normal tombs. But yeah, I will actually have to look into that mini quest now that I think about it and see if I think I can get it done within the session along with the raid itself, because otherwise it will be adding more and more days. But if it's something people that really want to see, then also who cares about adding days? So let me know if you're interested in seeing some theatre of blood on one hour limit locked before we go back to tombs. Ooh, medium clue. To the excitement of me alone. We had a hard clue as well. Maybe I'll end up just doing like half a day of training and doing some clues and like GE stuff because I'm not sure we will actually have time to do that mini quest, but I'm going to look into it. I'm going to look into it and maybe I'll just do top anyway if people really want to see it, like regardless of that. So still, still do let me know for sure in the comments. If you want to see it. I'm a lot less familiar with top than TOA. A lot more potential for failure there. I've done like three level, maybe? Three entry level top, maybe? If that, I don't know. Might just be able to get one more kill in. I'm gonna try and stay near the exit in case the clock gets low and I need to leave. So I don't want to get stuck in here when time runs out and then just die to not being able to react. To be fair, we're absolutely demolishing him, so I don't think we'll have any worries. I think it ate once this kill. I usually eat it like three times. Pretty sure he ate just the once. So we did so much DPS. I don't know how. Interested. And there's our last glorious kill of the day. We will grab the spoils of lobsters and make our way outside. I'm just gonna wait here and carry on from where I left off tomorrow. So yeah, we'll be going straight back in there to get the rest done. We got 133,000 experience today. That is 100k, pretty much bang on 100k ranged XP. So if we did the same tomorrow, we would still be 30k under. We'd need a little bit extra still. Unless we get like six spines. <laughs> I don't see that happening somehow. But yeah, been a solid day. I know it's it's not too like crazy. Nothing cr no crazy is going on here. It's just It's just training. But we're getting there, and sooner or later we will be back to the tombs, I'm sure, to enjoy our attempts, and maybe even the theatre as well. Who knows? Let me know. It's going to be all for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please do hit the like button if you did. It helps out a ton. It promotes me into the algorithm, and it lets me know that you enjoy the content I'm creating so that I don't stop having the passion to make it. Let me know in the comments if you want to see that theatre of blood run, and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future content I have planned, including the end of one hour limit locked and the Wild West series, and RuneScape Party, which I've been working on recently, and I'm super Super excited to start showing to you guys. That's going to be fun. Until next time, though, don't forget to look after yourselves. Be lovely to one another, and I'll see you on the next one.